Welcome to Real World AIP. I'm Stacy, and today I'm making polenta out of plantains. Green plantains make perfect polenta. Like it holds together, you can fry it. First thing we have to do to make the polenta is um, pressure cook the plantains. I'll show you how to do that. If you don't have an instant pot or pressure cooker, no worries, you can just boil the plantains. I'm gonna trim off the ends and I'm gonna cut it just, just, you know, like a quarter of an inch in. I'm gonna cut it in half or anything on either side. Like so. These look a little beat up because they were in my fridge for like 10 days. Alright, and then I'm just gonna cut these in thirds, right? I'm just gonna pop them. Whoops, not on the floor, no. So yeah, I'm gonna pop these right in here. I'd say that's about a cup of water. That's plenty. I'm gonna pop that basket right into there. Pop the lid on. And then I'm just gonna do manual 25 minutes and they're gonna pop right out of the skin. So look at them. They're busting right out of the skin. I just want you to see this. They come right out. So there's like no peeling involved. This is effortless. So here we have our cooked plantains. I'm just gonna salt these up to taste. I like salt. And then um, this is the little $20, little $20 ninja gadget I got at Walmart. So we're gonna do this in small batches, whatever can fit in here. You have to do this while the plantain is still hot. Hey, you know what? One batch it is. Maybe pushing my luck here, we'll see what happens. Probably just have to keep pushing it down. Now you don't want to add too much liquid to this. I'm just going to put a touch of coconut milk. I don't really measure this, I just kind of put a touch of coconut milk, some salt, some plantain to fit in this thing. Super easy. Not scientific at all. And then, let it rip. Press down any big bits that didn't get processed. We're not necessarily looking for a smooth, smooth puree, but we want to, you know, get it relatively, relatively well pureed. All right, if I go any longer, the engine's gonna die on that thing. That's fine, so this is what you're looking for. You can see that it's like solid texture, right? Beautiful. Broke out my mini muffin pan. I'm gonna lightly grease that with some, um, <laughs> the lazy way. I just take a gob of coconut oil and then the rest of this becomes a nice hand moisturizer. And then I'm just gonna pack this into the mini muffin pan. Now we're just gonna sit this in the fridge to set it. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna slice it up. All right, so I had this in the fridge. I went to work, I came back. It looks really perfect. <laughs> let's, let's take a look at this. Just go down the sides a little bit with the knife. And it pops right out. This is so weird. When polenta hits metal, it gets this weird marbly blue texture. I'm not sure how to prevent that from happening. Um, so anyway, it'll have a unique color. Maybe you can use a silicone mold. Here we are, it's perfect freaking polenta. If you wanted, you could fry this. It holds together beautifully. Um, this is a nice firm polenta. If you did this in a big pan, you know, you could actually use this as like a flatbread, you know, put your your AIP cheese on there and some prosciutto or something. And you could also use this instead of noodles to layer lasagna, just slice it really thin. Cause you can slice this thin, it's, it's, it holds together. Hello, lasagna layer. Oh my goodness. And you can also, you could mash this up with some coconut milk and have it for breakfast. There's so many things you could do with this. You could just fry it up in some oil and call it a day. Mmm. So there you go, polenta with a little bit of a purple marbling. Let's take a look at the nutrition facts. So each serving is gonna have about four ounces of plantain and like a tablespoon and a half of coconut milk. Um. So it would be like 140 grams will give you 
only about 170 calories, 33 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fat. Those carbs are net carbs. You're actually getting a little bit more, and we'll see that later. Um, I love this B6 here. You're getting 21% of your B6. And then um, magnesium, I like. Manganese, okay. None of this is really super high. Um, but it's a small serving size too. So yeah, the carbs 36 grams and then 2.8 grams of fiber. So there you have it, polenta. <laughs> Let me know how you use your polenta. Let me know how you like the recipe. If you like this video, subscribe below because I do put out new videos every Thursday, most of the time Sunday too, but I try not to commit to that, but I do. <laughs> um, and then if you wanna see clips from my everyday AIP life, my meal prep, my grocery shopping trips, my what I ate for dinner, what my fridge looks like, I post little clips all day, every day on Lens. There's a link below. It's a part of Patreon, but the Lens is free to the public. Um, so yeah, check that out. Anyway, I hope to see you soon and until then, be healthy.